With a bike holder mounted on the tow ball of your Toyota, you can safely and easily transport up to three bicycles, depending on the model. Available from your Toyota retailer, the bike holder is simple to install yourself. If your bike holder requires assembly, please refer to the installation manual. Before mounting the carrier to the car, clean the tow ball using a cloth and surface cleaner. Taking care not to scratch the car, place the carrier onto the tow ball and carefully align it horizontally and vertically. Then turn the fixation handle very firmly clockwise, securing the carrier to the tow ball. Pull back on the handle to have it in the best position for tightening. Until firmly fixed, then lock it with the supplied key. Next, plug in the wiring cable. To make the connection, push the plug in and turn it 90 degrees clockwise until it reaches the stopper. You'll need to make an extra license plate for the rear bike holder. To install a plate 2 to 3 mm in thickness, simply use the upper clips. For a plate 3 to 5 mm in thickness, remove the lower spacers first. Then, place the license plate in the proper location and attach it with the upper clips. Slide the two wheel holders to align them with the bike's wheelbase and prepare the straps for easy fastening. Loading a bicycle is easy. Always load the heaviest bike first, with the bike chain preferably on the side away from the vehicle. Attach the short arm to the bike frame and tighten the clamp firmly. Then, attach each wheel strap, pulling it tightly. Repeat this procedure for a second bike, placing it in the opposite direction so the bike chains are together, and use the long arm to secure it. Be sure to store the key and the bike carrier manual in your Toyota's glove compartment. With the bike carrier fully loaded, you can still open the trunk door of your Toyota. First, flip open the locking piece, then pull back on the handle located just above the license plate, grasp the top of the nearest bike frame, and tilt the bike carrier backwards. You can now open the trunk door. Once the door is closed, return the bike carrier to its upright position by pushing it forward until the mechanism clicks. Then close the locking piece. Prior to departure, verify that the carrier lamps function correctly. Check the belts and other fasteners are secure, tightening them if necessary. Remove all loose items on the bikes. On the first trip after installation, retighten the screws after driving 15 kilometers. During long drives, check the mounting of the carrier and the bicycles every two hours. The bike carrier may change the behavior of the vehicle on the road. Remember that the vehicle's total length increases, so take special care when reversing. And the bikes may increase the vehicle's total width and height. Make sure the weight of the bicycles does not exceed 36 kilograms for a two-bike carrier or 45 for a three-bike carrier. A single bike must not weigh more than 20 kilos and the wheelbase cannot be longer than 1.2 meters. Tandem bikes may not be carried. And if the car is equipped with automatic trunk opening, this function must be disabled when the bike carrier is fitted. When you're not transporting bicycles, lock the short and long clamps together to prevent movement while driving. Remove the bike carrier from the vehicle before entering a car wash or when it's not in use. This is easily done. First, unplug the wiring cable. Then, unlock the fixation handle. Push it in to unlatch it. And turn it anti-clockwise. Now you can lift the carrier off the tow ball. Set it on the ground and loosen the U-bolts on either side of the upright bar if you wish to fold it down. If you have any difficulty installing your rear bike holder, visit a Toyota retailer. There, you'll receive expert assistance and the best possible care for your Toyota, ensuring that your driving experience remains safe and pleasurable.